Pratiksha is a first year graduate student at the University of Florida. Her current projects focus um, in the field of electronic structure theory or quantum chemistry, and she's interested in working at the interface um, and intersection of quantum chemistry and quantum computing. Um, also really excited that Pratiksha is actually a Qubit by Qubit alumni. Uh, last year, Pratiksha took our course, so I'm sure that she'll, she'll tell you a little bit more about that, but Pratiksha, I'll turn it over to you. Yeah, so can you see my screen? Yep, it looks great. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Gabby, for the introduction and uh, greetings to everyone. It's great to see that all of your students have completed almost 11 weeks of this course. Uh, when I was attending this course last year, I also had a great fun. Uh, so to begin my quantum lightning talk, I would like to uh, start it with my introduction. I have completed uh, integrated master's program. It's a dual degree program in chemistry from IIT Kharagpur in 2020. And then I joined PhD program at University of Florida uh, in January 21. And my current research project is in the field of quantum chemistry. So during my uh, initial years of undergraduate studies, I I took various opportunities to explore various like different fields of chemistry to just find out my interest. And it was 2018 when I came across this book called Modern Quantum Chemistry, uh, which is like a foundational book. And it increased my interest. So I grabbed another opportunity to do summer internship in Virginia Tech in USA. So uh, it was right. my first time to... Sorry, Patricia. I don't know if we can. I think you might have gone to the next slide, but I don't think we can see it. Oh, okay. Uh, Let's see. I can maybe share my screen for your slides since I have them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be great. So, should I stop share, uh, sharing? Can you maybe try to go to the next slide? Okay. Yeah, can I see it now? Yep, we can see it now. Everything's all good. Oh, oh sorry, sorry for that. No, no worries. Uh, so uh, so when I came across this uh, book called Modern Quantum Chemistry, uh, I found it so interesting. Then I started reading more about it and I grabbed another opportunity to do internship at Virginia Tech. Uh, it was my first time to learn to how to implement the theories in actual coding to study the molecules. So it increased my interest. And also it was my first time to come abroad from India to USA. So I uh, I was super excited to make the most out of that opportunity. So then after I completed my master's thesis project uh, on uh, computational chemistry, and I graduated from IIT Kharagpur in uh, 2020. I was supposed to join the University of Florida in 2021, like, uh, sorry, uh, August 2020, but because of the COVID, I had to postpone it by one semester. And meanwhile, I had an opportunity to learn uh, the basics about quantum computing through QSCID Global Summer School by IBM, and also this introductory course by Qubit by Qubit. So that encouraged me to uh, learn more about the interface of quantum quantum chemistry and quantum computing. So almost it has been one year at the University of Florida and I have joined uh, Miranda Quintana Research Group. Uh, and I'm happy to read this field about, like more about this field. So to talk more about my research work, I would like to begin with uh, chemistry in nature. You know, like chem you can find chemistry all around you and also inside yourself. For example, we breathe, uh, we intake oxygen and our body uses that oxygen to, uh, to react it with the glucose and produce more energy for ourselves, right? So how this chemistry is related to the quantum world? Uh, let's talk about dark chocolate because I love dark chocolates. So uh, it contains so many uh, uh, caffeine molecules. As you can see the structure, it has different atoms like nitrogen, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, which are connected through various bonds where uh, atoms share their electrons among themselves. So it's really important to uh, understand the nature of any molecule or any system. You need to study that, uh, study those chemical reactions at electronic level. And here comes the uh, field of quantum chemistry which can help us to predict the chemical and physical properties of molecules at atomic scale. 
So the field of quantum chemistry actually work on the interface of chemistry and physics to develop the mathematical framework. And it uses the knowledge from computer science to actually implement it through the coding. So there are two basic uh, aspects of quantum mechanics which gives rise to these quantum chemical methods. First is the concept of wave particle duality, uh, which is nothing but the, no it's a, just a notion that we can think of very small objects uh, such as electrons uh, have the characteristics of waves and as well as particles. And the other aspect is that uh, quantum mechanical models uh, actually predict the energy of atoms and molecules are always quantized. That means they have only some specific amount of energy. So let's, uh, let's see how these quantum chemical methods framework and uh, how those methods got originated. Uh, so it's all about the Schrodinger equation, which is named after the great physicist Erwin Schrodinger. So this Schrodinger equation contains, uh, is actually a wave equation uh, that governs the uh, wave functions, uh, which actually talk about uh, the motion of the electrons uh, which are involved in the molecular system. So wave functions differ from uh, molecules to molecule because based on the number of electrons and the interactions present among themselves. So apart from wave function, the Schrodinger equation contains Hamiltonian operator and energy. As you can see, uh, as uh, I have posted the equation of the Hamiltonian operator, which incorporates various interactions among nuclei and electrons present in the molecule. So what is an operator? Uh, is uh, just talk about the function first. So function it converts one number into another. For example, square root is a function. Square root is a function, right? So if you input twenty five as a number, it will give you output as five. So similarly, operators are the rule that turn one function into another. So uh, to well, to solve the Schrodinger equation uh, is a tough task because you can't uh, capture the exact wave function since you can't distinguish between the electrons and you can't see them by your eyes, right? So uh, we need to uh, uh, we need to implement several approximations uh, for the wave functions, and based on these uh, assumptions, uh, many quantum chemical methods were developed. But the, there is one major limitation of these methods is to study the strongly correlated systems. What are strongly correlated systems? Those are the systems that, uh, which contain so many unpaired electrons or where bonds are stretched or broken. So my current project is aimed to develop new wave functions which can uh, help us to ease out the study of such big molecules uh, which are strongly correlated systems. As you can see, there is a picture of one manganese complex compound, which has more than 700 electrons. So it is very tough task to do a study it uh, based on like using the classical computers because it has it requires more computational cost. As the um, size of the system increases, uh, the computational cost, of, uh, cost also increases exponentially. And that's why quantum chemistry is seeking help of the quantum computers for to study like big molecules with more accuracy and more speed. So that's all about my research. Uh, like working on the computational chemistry has, comes with one advantage is that you can work from anywhere. Of. So, uh, but I love my workspace, which is provided by my department. Uh, the name of the working space is actually Quantum Theory Project, which is uh, the group of various research groups from different departments, such as physics, chemistry, and material science. I would like today. Uh, I like to start my day with uh, coffee, and then throughout the day, uh, my uh, schedule contains several different tasks, like working as a teacher assistant for undergraduate courses, then having meetings with the supervisor, discussion with my research group members, and then biking in between just to get relaxed. And I also love cooking, so and also uh, I enjoy the food with my friends. So this journey couldn't have been possible without these amazing mentors. I met them during my internship at Virginia Tech and they have been awesome. They have been consistently helping me to uh, solve my problems and uh, guiding me through the academic struggles and also the fun. So I would like to thank 
uh, for listening to me. Uh, but before that, I just want to give uh, one piece of advice. Like when I started reading about quantum mechanics and quantum chemistry, I was just like this facial expression. Like I was so stern that I couldn't understand anything but i kept on going uh, i gave it so much time and i had multiple discussions with my uh, mentors and now slowly my as my understanding is increasing i'm like being amazed with the concepts in uh, and how the th actual field is working so there is so much to explore so i hope uh, to keep my keep up my efforts and uh, uh, who knows like how 2023 will look like for me so things may seem hard uh, at first, but just give it time and uh, you will get it there. So keep going and all the best. Thank you for listening to me. And uh, thank I would like to thank you for giving me this opportunity. I'm open to any questions.